kind of got some sad news here. Um, Marty Pasco has passed away. Um, I met Marty uh, many, many years ago at a convention. He was a really, really super nice guy. Um, Marty's work in, in comics is extensive. We're talking about action comics, Superman, Wonder Woman, Swamp Thing. Uh, my The big one for me is Dr. Fate. That's why Dr. Fate is highlighted here in the tribute graphic for, for Marty Pasco. Um, but uh, in addition to that, you see some of the other things that he's worked on that includes things such as Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Um, he worked on, uh, this is a big one for you, Eric. He actually worked on G.I. Joe, a uh, real American hero. Worked on My Little wow. Pony, Exo Squad, Teen Wolf, Berenstein Bears. Um, this guy has worked on all kinds of amazing stuff. And as seen here in the graphic, he did actually work on Buck Rogers. And he also was the, I think either, I can't remember if he was the writer or co-writer, um, but he worked on, he was one of the lead writers on Batman Mask of the Phantasm, everyone. Um, I always hold up. A very, Batman. very underrated Batman film. Very underrated yeah. Batman. I always hold up Batman Mask of the Phantasm as, as being probably the best Batman movie. And I own it. That's always high praise for me because I do not have a, a large DVD or Blu-ray collection, and I do own Mask of the Phantasm. It's kind of funny because Dave and I were talking about this off the air, and I did initially recognize uh, Marty Pasco's name. As I'm thinking about it more, I'm like, yeah, I think I've heard the name before, but the work. I mean, obviously, I'm familiar with the work. Uh, you know, Buck Rogers, Batman, Mask of the Phantasm, Teenage Mutant Turtles. I mean, these, these are huge properties. Uh, so this is a real loss, I think. It It is. He also worked on just the regular, the Batman, the animated series as well. Um, I mean, this guy, um, and then his comics work is, is just crazy how much amazing stuff that he's worked on. I can't tell you how many things of his that he's worked on I've watched or, or that I've actually read. And I remember meeting him as a bit of a fan, fanboy kind of thing. It's just like, ah, you know. Um, <laughs> but... Um, no, yeah, I mean, uh, his his work is is um, is just it's just it's just legendary. I mean, he worked on so many different things. Um, but again, I again I highlighted the big ones, you know, for me personally, you know, the original Turtles, um, Buck Rogers, Batman: Master Phantasm, and a big one is Doctor Fate. I I think most people know I'm a huge huge Doctor Fate uh, fan. Uh, I've loved that character since I first got the little superpowers figure when I was a kid. Um, Dr. Fate is like always been a dream character of mine to get to work on. And, uh, it's one of the few characters I haven't had the opportunity to work on. Um, but, uh, yeah, we just want to say, uh, rest in peace, Marty Pasco, our condolences, obviously to his family and friends. Um, again, legendary, legendary creator. Um, so, uh, PJ for Orville Nation says rest in peace, Marty. So uh, if you don't mind, Eric, I'd like to just take a minute here for us, a moment of silence for, uh, for Marty Pasco. Absolutely. <laughs> 